What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, any Logitech steering wheel for a game on the PC called BeamNG Drive. In this case I'm using the uh, Logitech G920 uh, which also works on the Xbox. And so we're going to hop onto the PC and I'm going to show you guys what to do next. Alright, now that we're on the PC you're going to search up for the Logitech G Hub in uh, your web browser of choice. Make sure to click on the one that says Advanced Gaming Software. And then it should look something like this. It would say Windows or Mac download. Download for whatever software you're running. I'm running Windows, so I would hit that. Make sure to go through the whole installation process. Once you finish up installing the Logitech G Hub application, you open it up and it should look something like this. It would also leave a shortcut on your desktop or home menu. Now is also probably the best time to plug in your uh, steering wheel with the port, the USB port. So plug it in. It should start spinning. and you'll be connected on your computer. All right, this next step's totally optional, but I'm using a laptop to power my thing. So I'm just gonna connect it to that TV up there and then uh, put this HDMI port. All you gotta do is make sure it's connected to the right HDMI on the TV. The input's set to whatever HDMI you're plugged into on the, uh, the back or side of the TV, and then you're uh, good to go. Once you're finished with all those previous steps, you can hop onto the game BeamNG Drive with Steam or whatever other service you're using, hit play, free roam, and then select a map of your choice. I'm gonna select West Coast USA. And I'm gonna to go to the drag strip. While this was loading up, I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, like making sure to like and subscribe because that really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and all that crap. So if you guys do that, it will be really helpful and I really appreciate it. All right, we're inside the game right now. Once you load up, you're gonna wanna hit the escape button. Whenever you do that, hit options on the very bottom, go to controls, and make sure to go to vehicle, not vehicle specific. And then your uh, default binding should already be there, but if they're not, I'm gonna show you what to do now. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. And I'll take a minute. All right, now I'm gonna hit the plus button and it should detect the input. And so hit the throttle pedal, but if it says output 100% like it does for me, just invert the axis, otherwise it's just gonna take off without you. If it says 0%, then you're automatically good to go. Do the same for all other controls. All right, now we're all done. Now we can go drive. If you uh, step on the gas and the car just goes by itself, whenever, even whenever you let off the gas, um, you might have an inverted axis problem. So just go back to the options tab and make sure the inverted axis box is checked. And as long as the output says 0% whenever you're not using the button, you're good. All right, now we're done. Now you know how to set up your Logitech steering wheel for BMNG Drive. Hooray. If you have any questions, leave a comment and make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.